Uh, hi, so we're looking at the core practical on using microscopes today. Um, we're going to be looking at using onion cells. So to start off with, we've got a scalpel and we've got forceps. And later on, we're going to be using a toothpick as well. And of course, the onion. Uh, the easiest way I find to do this is to split the onion apart because we're after a really, really thin layer of cells. Because if it's too thick, we will not be able to see it underneath the microscope. So I'll just grab that. Now we want it to be at least about two centimeters, because if it's too small, it'd be hard to get covered with the slide. This is usually the hardest part. There we go. So I've got a nice big piece there. It's completely clear. Uh, if it's any thicker than that, you're not really gonna be able to see it. The next step, get your slide and pop it on. Now, the reason we're using a toothpick because we don't want any air bubbles. Quite often these can be mistaken for parts of cells underneath a microscope. So I'm just going to try and get that flattened out. As best we can. I'm a bit flimsy on this. It's uh, a bad piece. That will do nicely. Okay. Next up, um, you want to stain it so you're able to see it nice and clearly under the microscope. Otherwise, you won't be able to pick out the different parts of the cell, the organelles. We're going to use iodine, 1%. Uh, and we don't need a lot, just a drop will do. If you're feeling greedy, put two, but I always put one. And then get hold of your cover slip on the edge. Be really careful to not pick up more than one because they are very thin. And you hold it on the edge so you don't smother it in fingerprints. Just drop that on top and then very, very lightly press down. At this point, uh, go to your light microscope. Make sure you've got plenty of room to put it underneath. And then you want to start off at its lowest magnification because you want to make sure you're pinpointing the exact area you want to look at. If you start with the largest magnification, it's quite hard to find. Um, so you go quite close, because if you look at it down here, you're not gonna be able to see anything. So go quite close, and then start to use your fine focus rather than your coarse focus, and you'll get a good image. And then you can choose, if you need to, to up the magnification gradually. Again, start with the coarse focus, and then move with the fine focus. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, when it comes to working out magnifications, remember to times your eyepiece with the pieces below because a lot of people add them up or can subtract them and it's quite an easy question to get wrong.